Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video on my second channel. Today we're going to be going um, through some tips and tricks with Bull. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so jumping in to the first game. So yeah, sorry this vid is a little bit late. Um, I was out all day. Just got back from spends. So yeah, it's a little bit later today. But yeah, the best mode obviously for Bull is going to be Heist. Um, I'd say then the second best is Siege. Then the third best is going to be Brawl Ball and... You only ever really want to push bull on uh, maps that have um, like a lot of walls that are pretty closed in. This is a, an example of like a heist map, but a bad heist map for bull. Um, some of the better heist maps are like pit stop and stuff like that. We're going to charge up there because there's no way that the, the Brock can do enough damage to kill me then. So we're just going to go up. I would recommend kind of building your comps around um, a lot of tanks if you have bull. Um, just because, yeah, the more HP you have, the higher it is for the enemies to kill you. So you might as well just have your whole team, uh, like, with a ton of HP. Um, kind of like what we have now with these randoms. But, yeah, so it's going to be really hard for the enemies to kill you. Looks like we used all of our gadgets here. Obviously, we're going to be using Tough Guy. Um, because, yeah, you're going to get a lot of value with your gadgets with Tough Guy. You want to use your gadgets when you're pretty low. You know, when the enemy thinks they have a chance to kill you, and then you can just pop that gadget and, you know, stay alive, maybe pick up the kill on the enemy as well, and that's really going to help you. We got our soup here, which is really good for us. Um, let's just charge straight through all of these enemies here. We did actually kind of miss it a little bit. I'm going to go and just take out these guys here because, yeah, the Brook... Woo! Okay, rip. The Brook looked like he was going to super us. So, yeah, we kind of wanted to avoid that. So, we went down... Uh, did kind of work out. You see with this triple tank, we actually have a ton of pressure here. So it basically means that there's always one of us pushing up. Uh, and like they all have to defend together really. So it's just really good for us. Uh, I'm going to take them all out there. And then yeah, just wait for my teammates to push up here. Going to heat up a little bit while we wait for my teammates to push up. Not really sure what this BB is doing. Primo is going to jump in here. Okay, let's charge in here. If BB can get a bubble, then this is going to be GG's here. But yeah, we do manage to finish it. Um, so yeah, the star power, you're going to want to be using tough guy every single time. Let's jump into the next game. Okay, so hopping into game number two here. So yeah, as I was saying, you just want to play bull on maps that are pretty close with a ton of walls. Close range. And yeah, that's going to be the best maps for bull. You saw then we actually used a gadget perfectly. So it looked like they were going to kill us and we just popped at the right time. So they didn't end up killing us. We ended up staying alive, picking up the kill on one or two of them and really, really um, just getting a lot of value out of one gadget. Okay, yeah, let's push up here. Gonna need to just dodge these shots real quick. Another thing is, you know, if they have a real uh, like counter comp against a lot of tanks, then your super is gonna be one of the most valuable things because it just allows you to kind of get past them and get onto the safe. Here, we're just gonna, I mean, just by sitting in this bush, we have a ton of pressure. Perfect time to go in there. Um, 8 bits going all the way back. The bull was um, respawning in like, um, well, just died. So still had like a couple of seconds before he respawned in. So he get a few shots, also get out, pick up the kill on the 8 bit, get our super back here. And yeah, this is just perfect for us right now. Looks like Sprout was maybe going to finish it. Um, yeah, we can just go up here. We just need a few shots to finish it. So yeah, that's going to be it for this game. Very, very comfortable. Pretty uh, easy as well here. So yeah, let's jump into the next game. Okay, so the next game here. Let's uh, jump into one final uh, heist game here. And then we can jump into some Brawl Ball. And yeah, let's see how we do. Okay. Nita's one shot here. Nice nice shot from our Jessen to take her out. Uh, we're going to push this Dynamite back here. If you're ever against a dynamite, what you want to do is you kind of just want to um, ignore the dynamite, but also um, remember that the dynamite's going to be shooting in a pretty obvious place. So, yeah, you should be able to dodge most of dynamite shots. We're actually completely failing here. If we get hit by this as well, that would just be great. Okay. <laughs> okay, I was trying to teach you how to dodge diner, but we kind of failed. Um, so, yeah, we're literally just going to try and shoot, try and get him to shoot exactly where we want. He's got the stun now. We really need to avoid this. Okay, we just we got hit by it. Rip. That diner is actually a, a very decent diner because, yeah, normally I would think I'd... Well, I'd like to think I'd be able to dodge most of, like, dynamic shots because they are pretty easy to dodge. Instead, we're just going to be running up straight through the mid here. Brock, never going to be able to deal enough damage to kill me. We actually missed that first ult aim there. But, yeah, Brock, literally never going to be able to do enough damage to kill us. And Jesse has got turret on safe, and it looks like it's going to be GG here. Brock maybe will, will knock us away, but yeah, we do finish that pretty comfortably there. So yeah, let's jump into some Brubal games now. Okay, so jumping into the Brubal game here, you'll see um, a Poco double tank is obviously the comp you're going to want want to run with Bull. So a Poco and then most likely a Frank, a Primo, or a Jackie. They're kind of the best tanks that you want to use 
Past the pool up here, we can actually score this. I think we got it. Nice, we were able to score that. So yeah, Poco just heal the tanks and it's pretty comfortable. You should, you should just be able to like rush them and run past them pretty easily. Um, as long as they don't have like a spike or something with insanely high damage. Okay, we passed the ball here, but it looks like the Primo jumped. So yeah, that's gonna be a GG. Pretty comfortable in our first Brumble game. Let's hop into another one. Okay, so I didn't really talk much about auto aim and like manual aim. I, I guess it's pretty obvious with Bull that you're going to be autoing most of the time. I'd say the only time you want to manually aim is when um, you're either around a wall or your auto aim isn't going to work. So like when you're near a bush, someone's in a bush maybe, auto aim probably won't work there. So you're probably just going to want to um, manually aim. It looks like we managed to super the, the Jackie away. So yeah, basically why I supered there was I saw that the Jackie had the ball in her hands and I thought, you know, I need to super here because... So you can probably walk this in otherwise. So yeah, it kind of bought enough time for our Shelly to respawn there. Gene, okay, wow, nice play from the Gene then. High IQ play, chucks the ball, pulls the, the Jackie and then shoots that in. So a really nice goal from our Gene. Nice from our Shelly there. Um, okay, let's push this Jackie here. Nice. Max, I don't know what this Max is doing. Okay, he's gonna pass us the ball here. Shelly just needs to break something. And that's going to be a goal. Really good synergy there for that goal. Um, yeah, let's jump in to the next game. Okay, so jumping into the next game. Those teammates we had last game are pretty good, honestly. Um, oh, no. I didn't actually talk about matchups much. Um, the only thing I would say is that, like, this comp's going to be good against most things apart from, like, Bull is not going to be good against uh, Brawlers like Spike, Max. Um, those kind of Brawlers which just can do a ton of damage. The best matchups are, um, I don't know really, it, it's difficult because, you know, Piper is a good matchup if you can get pressure and if you can dodge. Brock's a good matchup as well, just because it takes so many shots for these Brawlers to actually kill you, that yeah, you can just wreck them basically before they even kill you. Um, let's pass it up here, maybe super up and see if we can score this. Okay, we should have, yeah, nice. Okay, we did score that, so yeah, let's jump into the next game. Obviously, the best matchups are going to be, um, like... I'd say more S is a very good matchup. Also, Jackie's a good matchup. Um, Daryl a pretty good matchup as well. So kind of like other tanks that Bull is just better than. Um, but yeah, other than that, not really much. But you always have that pressure if you're using a polka double tank comp. So you always have um, you always have a decent matchup. But right now in the meta, I mean, Bull is just pretty bad because for his like spike and stuff can just melt tanks so easy. Okay, we're gonna super this. Surge then to take him out. Morse is dashing in on uh, Shelly. Not the best idea from him, though. Okay, Daryl didn't end up scoring. Nice super from the Shelly here. We're just gonna, gonna do this well, actually. And hopefully we can take out the Surge. Okay, Surge is gonna go down there. Daryl shoots that in. So a nice goal there. Let's see if we can pick up the win in the final game here. We, we're like one shot to super here. Hopefully I can show you a, a, a nice play you can do a bull. But let's see anyway. Um. Okay, Shelly is gonna dash past the M's then. Not sure about that play. Yeah, let's move up here. Nice from our Shelly. Okay, I don't know what I don't know what this Surge is doing. I'm gonna pass him the ball then. Okay, we got the ball here. We can actually just super shot that in. I want to kind of show you a nice play if I can anyway. Okay, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to. Hmm. Oh, he almost scored anyway. Um. Yeah, I want to show you a nice play you can do, but I guess I guess the enemies do not like that. So we'll try again. Let's see. Okay. Morris is going down there. Do not advise dashing in like that if you're a Morris. Okay, that was a bad um, charge. Then we should have charged like a bit closer to the M's. Nice for my teammates there. Push this Morris here. Okay, we actually got taken out then. Hmm. That was kind of bad from us. BMing as well. <laughs> oh no. Okay. We actually got some emotes here. Um, nice roll from a Daryl then. Kind of just waste a few shots, though, picking up the ball. Let's charge up here, and yeah, we should be able to score this. You can just pass it to us, and yeah, that's going to be the win in the final game. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it. Um, if I missed anything, let me know down below, and we're going to open up a few boxes here that we got. Let's see, we've got a big box here. I'm going to get anything here. i got a new collect pin. I guess that's kind of cool. And mega box here. Let's see if we get anything. we got six, so I think we're getting a star power or a gadget here. We're getting Bose gadget. That's uh, definitely a decent gadget to get. Even though it's the first one. Star points going to Nanny. Didn't even really see that. We just spammed it. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.